What is the primary role of the central service in preventing healthcare-associated infections, HAIs? A. Managing patient records. B. Providing medical advice. C. Preventing the spread of infections. D. Conducting surgical operations. Answer. C. Preventing the spread of infections. Which of the following best describes the process of asepsis? A. The process of healing wounds. B. The absence of microorganisms that cause disease. C. The administration of antibiotics. D. The process of blood transfusion. Answer. B. The absence of microorganisms that cause disease. Which of the following is a key practice to minimize the spread of microorganisms? A. Regular exercise. B. Hand washing. C. Taking vitamins. D. Eating a balanced diet. Answer. B. Hand washing. Which of the following is not a step in the central service process for supporting infection prevention? A. Cleaning contaminated medical devices. B. Using personal phones in the sterilization area. C. Inspecting instruments for safety and functionality. D. Assembling and packaging instruments for sterilization. Answer. B. Using personal phones in the sterilization area. Standard precautions in the healthcare setting are based on the principle that A. Only visibly soiled materials are infectious. B. All human blood and bodily fluids are potentially infectious. C. Infections are not a significant concern. D. Only certain fluids need to be treated with caution. Answer B. All human blood and bodily fluids are potentially infectious. What is the significance of following manufacturer's instructions for the use, IFU, of medical devices? A. It ensures the devices are used for their intended entertainment purposes. B. It minimizes legal liabilities for manufacturers only. C. It ensures the safety and effectiveness of the device, preventing infections. D. It is only a formality and does not impact patient safety. Answer. C. It ensures the safety and effectiveness of the device, preventing infections. What is considered the most important practice to reduce infections according to the script? A. Using personal protective equipment, PPE. B. Hand hygiene. C. Sterilization of instruments. D. Mechanical cleaning of instruments. Answer. B. Hand hygiene. Which principle of asepsis emphasizes the separation of dirty, clean, and sterile conditions? A. Principle 1. B. Principle 2. C. Principle 3. D. Principle 4. Answer. D. Principle 4. What should a CS technician do if they notice a breach in a septic technique? A. Ignore it if the breach seems minor. B. Report it to a supervisor immediately. C. Correct the situation immediately. D. Only correct it if it directly impacts their work. Answer. C. Correct the situation immediately. How often should scrub attire be changed? A. Daily or when soiled. B. Weekly. C. Only when visibly dirty. D. At the discretion of the CS technician. Answer. A. Daily or when soiled. Why should artificial nails not be worn in CS departments? A. They can interfere with the use of instruments. B. They can cause allergic reactions. C. They are considered unprofessional. D. They harbor microorganisms and may detach into instrument trays. Answer. D. They harbor microorganisms and may detach into instrument trays.
Why is it important for central service professionals to wear disposable bouffant-type head coverings in all areas of the department? A. To enhance professional appearance. B. To prevent hair from shedding onto items being processed. C. To keep the head warm. D. To absorb sweat and prevent it from dripping. Answer B. To prevent hair from shedding onto items being processed. What type of shoes is recommended for central service technicians to wear in the department? A. High heeled shoes for better posture. B. Open toed sandals for comfort. C. Sturdy shoes with non skid soles for protection and safety. D. Any comfortable footwear, as long as it is clean. Answer C. Sturdy shoes with non skid soles for protection and safety. According to the chain of infection, what is the correct sequence that leads to the spread of infectious diseases? A. Susceptible host, causative agent, reservoir, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry. B. Causative agent, reservoir, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry, susceptible host. C. Portal of entry, mode of transmission, causative agent, reservoir, portal of exit, susceptible host. D. Reservoir, causative agent, susceptible host, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry. Answer B. Causative agent, reservoir, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry, susceptible host. What dress code requirement is specific to the decontamination area of the CS department? A. Business casual attire for professional appearance. B. Surgical scrubs and hair coverings only. C. OSHA required personal protective equipment, PPE. D. Street clothes with a lab coat for easy identification. Answer. C. OSHA required personal protective equipment, PPE. Which of the following is the correct order for donning PPE? A. Gloves, mask, gown, goggles, or face shield. B. Gown, mask, goggle or face shield, gloves. C. Gown, gloves, mask, goggles or face shield. D. Mask, gown, gloves, goggles or face shield. Answer. B. Gown, mask, goggles or face shield, gloves. What is a fomite in the context of infection control in central service areas? A. A type of disinfectant. B. An inanimate object that can transmit bacteria. C. A specific type of bacteria resistant to antibiotics. D. A procedure for sterilizing medical instruments. Answer. B. An inanimate object that can transmit bacteria. What is the primary function of a causative agent in the chain of infection? A. To provide a reservoir for microorganisms to survive. B. To act as a mode of transmission for diseases. C. To serve as a pathogenic microorganism capable of causing disease. D. To prevent the spread of infections in healthcare settings. Answer. C. To serve as a pathogenic microorganism capable of causing disease. How can central service technicians interrupt the transmission of a causative agent? A. By using septic techniques only in the decontamination area. B. By physically removing contaminated substances through cleaning, disinfection, and sterilization processes. C. By limiting their work to assembly and packaging of instruments. D. By avoiding the use of personal protective equipment, PP. Answer. B. By physically removing contaminated substances through cleaning, disinfection, and sterilization processes. Which of the following best describes a reservoir in the chain of infection? A. A method by which an infectious agent is spread. B. A place where an infectious agent can survive. C. The path used by an infectious agent to enter a susceptible host.
D. A person or animal lacking the ability to resist infection by an infectious agent. Answer B. A place where an infectious agent can survive. What is the role of proper hand hygiene in the chain of infection? A. It acts as a reservoir for microorganisms. B. It serves as a portal of exit for infectious agents. C. It is a mode of transmission for pathogenic organisms. D. It can interrupt the transmission of infectious agents. Answer. D. It can interrupt the transmission of infectious agents. Which of the following is a critical action to prevent the portal of entry for infectious agents in patients? A. Using only properly disinfected or sterilized equipment for invasive procedures. B. Ensuring that all surgical instruments are stored openly for easy access. C. Limiting the use of PP to high-risk areas only. D. Restricting cleaning and decontamination processes to visible contamination. Answer A. Using only properly disinfected or sterilized equipment for invasive procedures.